So just like I've done for revenue and profit, I've gone ahead to calculate transaction count last month and transaction count year to date. Okay. So transaction count last month, I basically followed the same pattern. So transaction count last month was calculated as calculate transaction count, filter it to previous month of the calendar date. Transaction count YTD, which is year to date, was calculated using the total YTD function to calculate transaction count and the filter was passed as calendar date. Now I'm going to have to do another calculation across all three metrics that is transaction count, revenue and profit. And this time I'm going to calculate measures for the same period last year. So same period last year, meaning that if I stand on January 2015, the value I expect to get for transaction count should give me the transaction count for January 2014. If I stand on April 2015, the transaction count I expect to get is the transaction count for April 2014 so that is same period last year so we can use uh, a visual that compares year on year within the same period so i'm gonna come over here to one dax right click select new measure and i'll start with transaction count same period last year so i'll call this transaction count SPLY. So transaction count SPLY is going to be equals to calculate transaction count comma. So the filter is going to be, I will use a function that can return the transaction count for the period that is selected but for a previous year. So if I select April, I want to return transaction count for April, but for the previous year. So that function is same period last year. So calculate transaction count, we'll filter it to same period last year. So same period last year has a single argument for date, and my date is in my calendar. So calendar date, close brackets, close brackets, enter. So transaction count, SPLY, when I add that to this report, let's see how this looks. So adding that to the report, January 2015 has a transaction count SPLY of 32, which corresponds to the transaction count of January 2014. January 2016, has a transaction count SPLY of 29, which corresponds to the transaction count of January 2015. And if I check May or June, let's say June 2016, has a transaction count SPLY of 68, which confirms the value for the transaction count of June 2015. So I will repeat this same SPLY on transaction counts, I'm going to repeat the same thing for revenue and profit. So I could just do this, click inside this formula bar, press Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy this, then right click on one dax, select new measure, then I'll just paste this in there. I will now simply change transaction counts to revenue. So revenue SPLY is going to be calculate, not transaction count anymore, but calculate revenue. Hit enter. Right click on one dax, select new measure, paste. I'm going to change this transaction count to profit. So profit SPLY is going to be equal to calculate, not transaction count anymore but profit so calculate profits and filter it to same period last year hit enter then we're gonna be ready to carry out some visualizations